Right, the next part, we're going to get this Raspberry Pi here to power this chip. You see, this has got a little brain on it, and uh, it needs power for that. It doesn't actually hog any of the power from the motors, um, so it has a separate power source, and that is what this little third blue yoke, that guy there is. So, it's a 5 volt power supply, that third one, and we're going to take that 5 volt power supply straight from the Raspberry Pi. Now, this is my Raspberry Pi, and here are the GPIO uh, terminals. GPIO is just the switch on and off. Some of them are a bit special though. Just watch it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it this way. So uh, make sure you don't accidentally go like that and get everything upside down. Um, I'm just gonna draw these to represent them. Okay. So I'm gonna move this across for a little bit, and just for myself because the numbers do matter. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It keeps going on. There's more up there. Or whatever. We're just gonna use the ones down here. The first guys we're gonna use is uh, a bit of power. So if you count on this one here on the left and you go uh, the very, very first one here, that is a always on five volt power supply. Okay, some of these are switches. This is not a switch. This does nothing but supply five volts all day. So that's this guy now powered up. If I have one more wire, which is of course the grand. This guy, the third one up from the left, is a grand uh, pin. So all that guy does is be a grand. There you go, and you just slot him in there. You're gonna have to actually put two of these wires. I just twist them around each other and then shove them into that little middle slot there. Okay, and uh, that's it. That is part three all done. Okay, so the next part is that we need to um, provide power for this little computer board. So we've got our ground here and this is a 5 volt here. And we're going to connect them both to the Raspberry Pi. So the GPIOs, okay, starting at there's number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so on all the way up. Uh, as we saw earlier, we're going to connect this guy, so the bottom left, he is going to be connected to the 5 volt. So the bottom left is connected to the 5 volt and then two up from him he is going to be connected to the ground. So there's the ground in the middle. The ground in the middle. Ah, yeah. didn't we already put a wire in there? Oh my god. You are so prepared. Born ready. <laughs> so um, just taking a look, I'll connect that first because I have it. So what we have is we've got male and a male and a male. Now you can buy male and female jumper cables make it a bit easier. But we're going to connect our male to a female. Okay? And then use the female to female to connect to the board. So we're connecting this three up on that pin there. Then the second one we're going to do the exact same but I need to just attach a cable first so I'm going to loosen this up as usual. Cool. That's tightened. Again, same thing. Now this is red and I'll stick with red color scheme. So this is the one that's going to provide the power for the board. So again, male into female and then the female into the board and it's the bottom left there. And just make sure it's pushed on correctly. So that is the very bottom left. Deadly. Part 3 complete.